Hello everyone, welcome back to another 3 Minutes at 3. Today's topic is humility. So, being humble, that is a very tough one. That's a tough one for anybody to do, especially me. If you're a strong-willed person, being humble is a, is a very tough road to go down. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it doesn't come naturally. It takes effort and work and thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, you know, being very transparent, you know, one of my things of humility is I have to admit something to you all. We're going to start with that first off. This okay. is Roy's confession. Get ready. <laughs> On the edge of your seats, I'm trying to milk this out till the end of the three minutes of three. Are you ready for this? Maybe this one needs a special tag, Roy's confession. It, 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 it might. It just might. You might get more views that way. Um, so back in the earlier days of YouTube, when we got started, and I say earlier days, that's like a year and a half, two years ago, I was not very good at taking constructive criticism. I had figured I had earned my stripes in with my business, and what I had to offer was non-negotiable, right? Mm -hmm. And so that was a very wrong way of me acting. Humility is just essentially you admitting where you are wrong, mm -hmm and accepting that responsibility of that, and then taking and trying to do better, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the simplest form of humility, mm -hmm. is just come to the realization that you're not always right. Mm -hmm. uh, that mentor you learned under was not always right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's other people on this planet that have different viewpoints than you. Mm -hmm. And just being humble enough to respect them and respect mm -hmm. their viewpoints for just who they are. Yeah, uh, that that's one of the simplest and easiest ways uh, for you to be humble or start the process anyhow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in blacksmithing, uh, there's many ways that you could go and get the same result. Uh, if you're talking about an end product, trying to create something, perhaps one person does it with one technique, another person does it with a different technique, uh, and not to say that one necessarily is wrong where the other's not. It's just being accepting of a, there's more than one way to do to get to the to get to that result. Yeah. And so applying this to business, which we're all about here with Christ Centered Ironworks and trying to help improve you all, uh, humility goes into your customers as well. Mm -hmm. You know, customers are not always right. Um, and then, you know, again, you're not always right. And yeah. just because you put a lot of hard work and sweat into something doesn't necessarily make that a good fit for your customer. And that's where these practicing being humble will really, really, really come to take and come to bear in your business and shaping how that business is run in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be it for this three minutes at three. We really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. And like we always say, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.